Hey guys, Janelle Emma here from Janelle, JanelleEmma.com. Um, today I obviously want to talk to you about how to know if your business is on the right track. So this is a big mindset one and we need to really think about this as we're going along with our businesses. We can't just be looking at it as if, you know, you try it for a few months and then give up because it hasn't worked for you. Um, have a think about why is it that you can have two people that can do the same amount of work in a company or in a business. Um, they, they're given the same instructions and the same business plan. They both apply it, but one is successful and one isn't. Why is that? Do you think that's mindset or do you think that's the business plan itself? Obviously, when you look at it, it's the unconscious mind and the mindset it's your belief in yourself so obviously one of those people the successful one has full belief in what they're doing and what they've been put in what's been put in front of them to do and that's why they succeed the other one has the same plan the same work ethic the same instructions but they fail because they're talking themselves into failing they're talking themselves out of it and they're thinking about the what ifs and maybe this and how come that and you know, it's that whole mindset side of things, that whole what you tell yourself, and that's the scary part. So this is why we need to really work on ourselves. And I know Jim Rohn always said, work on yourselves more than you work on your business, because this is what happens. You you know, that's why success fails, or you don't get success, because you're you're talking yourself out of it. You've got all these things in mind, but what if this, but what if that? And then that's why you don't succeed in it. So ask yourself, you know, are you making your life harder by trying to be always seeking the better and the easy? You know, you see people that jump from company to company and, and comp plan to comp plan and they try different products here and there and different marketing strategies here and there and, you know, they're, it's because they're, they're not focused on the one thing. They're not setting their self-belief high enough and they're trying to look for what's better out there or what's easier out there. It's like how they say the grass is always greener on the other side. It never is. <laughs> I used to work in coal mining and I used to drive trucks. And, you know, I worked in five different mines over five different years. That wasn't a personal choice, but there were a couple of mines that I chose to, I left one to, to go to another. And the reason for that was I thought it was going to be better at that other mine. No different. The mines are exactly the same. They have pretty much the same rules. You're wearing the same clothes. You're doing the same job. Why did I think the grass was greener on the other side by going to that different mine site? It wasn't at all. It's the same with our network marketing business. Don't try and look for the better option or the easy way out because that's when you're going to fail and you're going to set yourself those expectations that just aren't going to be there. So growth comes from massive resistance. Now, I'm sorry that I'm reading notes here, but I <laughs> have two kids that I'm hoping will stay away, so it's making me a bit occupied. Um, growth comes from massive resistance, and we don't walk... You know, we don't walk into a gym and expect to pick up the weights and think that they're going to be, you know, easy or not heavy. We know that they're going to be heavy weights. We go in there to push ourselves and to grow our muscles. Don't do that, please. We want to push ourselves and grow our muscles. So that's why we go in there. We're pushing ourselves. We've got that mindset already in place to grow ourselves and to grow our muscles. And, you know, why are we not doing that with our business? Why do we think that we can walk into this and not have to try hard and not have to put the work in? You know, we, it's a, it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. I've got something in my eye. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So, you know, apply those same things to your business. Don't make decisions for a place of scarcity oh. and fear. And, you know, ride that wave to a better mindset. You've got to, you've got to try and work on yourself. Sienna, stop that, please. You've got to work on yourself and your mindset. And you've got to, you know, let that fear go to the back of your mind instead of taking over and thinking that you can, you know, thinking that it, it's, it's the thing that's going to help you out because it doesn't. We know that it doesn't. Sorry, somebody is playing with my prop. <laughs> Shocking day today for Facebook Live. So think of it like this. We don't, we don't all learn from our mistakes. Why do we... Well, sorry. We do learn from our mistakes, so why do we give up? Why is it that we give up 
on the things that we're trying when we're just, you know, if we, if we make mistakes from that. Learning from our mistakes is what then gets us to learn more from that and then you can progress onwards and grow more. So we need to learn from our mistakes. We need to be making mistakes to become better. And I've said this before, you've got to be bad before you're good and good before you're better. So why not be in that same business or in that same company or in that same role, make those mistakes and know that you're going to get better at it as time goes on. This is, this is all that mindset and that fear that takes over us and thinking that things are going to be better, better on the other side when we know that they're not, well, they may be sometimes, but you just, you've just got to put that into your, your mindset that you can do this no matter what company you're in or what business you're in. Now, I want, to, I want you to ask yourself these three questions. And these three questions will help you to understand whether you're on the right track or not. So, is there proof that what you're doing works for others? Have you seen that you know, the, the marketing strategies you're, you're doing or the um, content that you're creating or the steps that you're taking for your business have you seen other people succeed in that? If you have, you know that it can work. So don't give up on that. People sit there and say, oh, I've done network marketing, it didn't work for me. That's that negative mindset. That's telling yourself that it's not going to work. That's that fear that's taking over because you're thinking about what other people might be thinking. Or you're thinking about, you know, I don't like this because I'm getting uncomfortable. The uncomfortable part is good. You know, we need to get uncomfortable before we can step into our higher selves, if you want to call it that, or, or into our more comfortable zone in that next level. You know, we've got to push our boundaries and push ourselves out there. So that one question was, is there proof that what I'm doing works for others? And yes, there is. So just think about that. <laughs> I love these questions. So I had to share these with you today, no matter what. Um, the other one is, is the outcome what I truly want? So you can think about the outcome being um, are you wanting to be one of those leaders? Are you wanted, wanting to be someone who's up on the stage presenting to other people? Are you wanting, be, wanting to be the one who has an international business and having to deal with hundreds of p people in your team and your downline and helping your crossline and being a mentor to many people in the industry? Is that what you're wanting to do? Because if that's not in your vision, then maybe this isn't for you. You know, maybe this isn't what you're wanting to be doing. Hang on, shh, shh, shh. Maybe this isn't what you're wanting to be doing. So that one is, is the outcome, you know, that end result, is that really what you want? You know, are you wanting to be that, that big leader that has that team under you that looks up to you for everything? Okay, okay, in a minute. And the third one, yes, the third one is, sorry guys, I'm going to have to go quick. The third one is, does this scare you and make you uncomfortable? Now I just said that, get out of your comfort zone. So does this scare you or make you uncomfortable? And if it doesn't scare you, then, the, then it's not big enough for you, you know, or you're not pushing hard enough, or maybe you are in the wrong industry or the wrong team or the wrong company. But you've got to think about, you know, ha that's the third question. Is this scaring me? And is it making me uncomfortable? I know this is making me uncomfortable, especially today on these Facebook Live videos. What the heck? <laughs> anyway, so... Have a think about those three questions. I'll say them to you again. Is there proof that what I'm doing works for others? Is the outcome what I truly want? So being that leader, you know. And does this scare me and make me uncomfortable in a big way? Because if, if you answer yes to all those three things, you know that you're on the right track in your business. You know that you're doing the right thing. And you just have to have patience to keep going with this. Now, patience is a big thing. And we all know that patience can, it's hard to have patience, especially with kids right there. <laughs> but we need patience. Patience helps us learn and helps us grow. Thank you. So, you know, as, it, as you're going through your network marketing business or your home-based business or, um, you know, direct sales, if you're in this industry, See if this is what your true purpose is. See if this is what, you're truly, what you truly want to be doing. Get out of your comfort zone. Get uncomfortable. Um, see yourself as that leader. Are you wanting to be that leader? See yourself in your vision for your future. And is it someone who is up there on stage or 
you don't have to be up on stage, but who is leading a big team or who is guiding other people or mentoring them? Is that in your vision for your future? Because that's what this business is all about. It's about networking and building a team and building that legacy below you or, you know, around you. So have a think about that. And, you know, there is definitely proof in what we're doing works for others. So go and if, you, if it's not working for you now, you're either doing it wrong or you don't, there's something you don't know that those leaders or those other people do know. So go and work, at, work that out. Work that out what that is that those other people know that you don't know and you'll soon realise and, and work out what is working for them and making them successful that's, that you haven't even thought of yet. Thank you all for listening in. Please, please like or share or comment this if it's of value to you. I do apologise today and I will speak to you tomorrow.